Hi Paper Crafters, welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, the Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today I want to share a super quick Valentine's Day card with you. It's one that has a cutout, but only half of the framelit is cut out. So if I turn this over, you can see that here's the heart cut out from the rest of the cardstock, and it's folded back on itself. So I'm going to show you how to do that using your Big Shot so that you can take pretty much any shape and uh, achieve the same kind of effect. You're going to need a piece of Blushing Bride and this is cut to five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. You're going to need your Big Shot and I've just pulled in my uh, magnetic platform here and my acrylic pads. You're also going to need the Sweet and Sassy framelits, and I love these framelits. I've used uh, these ones a ton, and uh, there's two different kinds of hearts. There's more that have just a, a, a straighter side, I guess, and these ones are a little bit more curvy. I just have a little bit more personality. Today, we're going to use one with the uh, straighter sides. And today, we're going to use the second largest heart, which is this one, and the fourth largest heart, which is this one. So you can put the rest aside. So what you're going to do is you need to sort of eyeball or you can actually mark, and I'm gonna mark with a pencil. I want to mark at about two and three eighths over. So this fold is not directly in the middle of the card. You could put it in the middle of the card you want, if you want, but I wanted it over a little bit more. So that is at about two and three eighths. So if you take your ruler and just, um, make a little bit of a pencil mark just where the two and three eighths is just so that you can have it as a guide because what we're going to do is we are going to place our large um, framelit the large heart with the cutting side down and you want that to be sort of lined up so just imagine a line going all the way top to bottom there and you are just going to line up your heart and you can put it down low up high i'm going to sort of center mine as much as i can and instead of putting your um, acrylic pad on the entire one, that would cut out the whole heart, we are just going to put our acrylic pad really lined up with that line, which is also going to be pretty much the center of the heart. And then I'm going to pick this up and put it into the big shot as it is. Okay, so I've got this now and there's my heart cut out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a score line just to the top of the heart and then from the bottom of the heart. And I do my score line after so that um, I am not going to interfere at all with where my heart is. And I don't need to measure the top and the bottom. I'm going to put it in now. So make sure you're using the scoring tool, which is the lighter beige one on your stamp and trimmer. And I've placed my heart so that the two ends of it are going to sit right in the, um, in the trough. Okay, and you're just going to score down to the top of that heart and then you're going to lift up and you're going to take your scoring tool and you're going to score from the bottom of the heart to the bottom of your paper. Okay, so give yourself a good couple score lines. I don't know if you can see them there, but they're up to here and down. And then I'm just going to fold back on that score line and I'm going to pull in my folding bone and just crisp up my eds, edges. So I'm just a smidge more than uh, the two and three eighths here. I want to line that up just a little bit more. So I'll go in with my burnishing tool and just make it nice and flat against the back of the card. Okay, so there we have our heart. And then, so we'll just have our card off to the side and now we're going to stamp. So we're going to stamp the love from the Labels to Love set. So you may have uh, gotten this in the holiday catalog and it had Christmas and Halloween, Thanksgiving, but it also has a love in here that wor works perfectly for Valentine's Day. So that's what we're using today. And we're just going to stamp that. So I'm just going to put my love down here. And then I'm going to cut this out with the big shot as well. Okay, now we have everything, I have everything stamped and cut out. We're going to just assemble our card. So this is a piece of the Bundle of Love Specialty Designer Series paper. It's in the annual catalog and it's great because one side is vanilla and gold and the other side is either Blushing Bride or Soft Sky. And I'm picking the Blushing Bride to go the same with our card. And I'm going to glue that down using my Fast Fuse. So I'll put that on the side here. I'm going to use dimensionals for my love. Put that over top. 
And I've lined it up so that he, this lines up here and the tip lines up with the bottom of the heart. I'm going to put on a few of the small um, basic pearls. I think I'm going to, and I'm putting on five, so I'm going to start from my middle one and go out. Two, and then I'm going to go another two this way. Just to add a little bit of something there. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a piece of very vanilla on the inside of the card. And this piece, oh, sorry, not quite the last thing. I forgot to glue this part down. So you want to glue this part down rather than leaving it as a flap. So I'm just going to take my fast fuse and get it down. There we go. And I'm going to use my snail to put down the whisper white put down the very vanilla rather there you go and you have a pretty quick card that's a great card for Valentine's Day it could be for an anniversary it could also be for a wedding so there's uh, all kinds of possibilities with this card I hope you enjoyed this project if you do please like it below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and if you live in Canada and don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal. Check out my website for more ideas. I post regularly and I'd love to have you join in. Thanks and have a great day.